Guys, come with me. I want to show you something. So, Zhiyun is getting into the light game. Look how small this thing is. It's not much bigger than my iPhone. And this is actually a 100 watt COB light. And uh, I partnered with Zhiyun on this video. We're going to shoot an editorial spec magazine cover. We're going to do hard light and some soft light. And I'm pretty stoked to see what these can do. So, come along. <laughs> So right now for this hard light look, we're uh, actually using a Fresnel on it. And we're using their Bowens adapter so that we can put this Fresnel on it. And we're gonna go for that like nice hard spotty look. I wanna get you in frame here and see what it's gonna look like. I like that little shadow we're getting. Let's fire up Lightroom. All right, let's, let's uh, see what we got here. Here we go, three, two, one. I think it looks sick. It might be a little too warm. All right, so now I've got the shadow kind of thrown off to the side here. It's got a completely different uh, feel to it now, so we'll take a look and see what everyone thinks. As well. I, I think I like this shadow versus this shadow. Yeah. So it's a little bit further away. Yeah. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, love that. Actually, hold that, I'm gonna get it in a, t uh, can you bring your like arm up a little bit? Yeah. Love that, that's it. Should we uh, export one of these and throw it into Photoshop? Let's see. And just see what it looks like on a magazine cover. We're powering this light off of AC right now. So this is the power brick. You can power it off many other ways, and I'll show that later. Love that. Now bring your hands in front and, um, and keep, keep the same angle that you're on. Yeah. I'm looking off out towards the window now. If you want to go up on your toes, I can count you in too. Three, two, one. Love that. This looks sick. Look at the shadow too. Yeah, that's cool. We can let's we can do some of that. I, I just have to angle the light in a different way. It's surprising how much output that thing's doing. Like, look how small it is. <laughs> it's so tiny. This looks sick. Can you lean forward a bit on your hands? Love that. Let's do one looking off towards the window a little more. Chin up just a tiny bit. Yep. Love it. Cool, I think we're done with look number one. So as we know, this light is small and when I was sent these lights, I opened up the case and I couldn't believe that this was a 100 watt COB light. And not only that, it's actually bi-color ranging from 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. Now in order to keep this light so compact and small, they designed their own mount called the ZY mount and it can accept their smaller modifiers. But what's really cool is they made an adapter that lets you attach Bowen's mount modifiers, which is basically industry standard. Now this light has a really unique design. Unlike anything I've seen before, it's simple to use. You have a power button, a color temperature knob and a brightness knob. What else do you really need? Simple is the way to go when it comes to lights. And this light is actually active cooled, so I'm sure you've seen that big fan on the back. And even running at 100% power, this fan runs silent, so if you're using this to shoot video while recording audio, you're not going to hear it. And this kit they sent me, it comes with a side attached battery grip, and at 100% power you get 30 minutes from that, and at 50% it'll go for about an hour. You can also power it off AC like we did if you need to run it all day, but you can also run it through PD USB-C if you have a powerful enough USB power brick, and alternatively, you can also power it through DTAP through a 24 volt V-mount battery if you have the cable for that. All right, so the plan for the softer light look, we're gonna need to use two of these because once we start diffusing it, it's gonna cut down how much power these things are putting out. And then we're gonna put it through a four x four diffusion, and so that's what we're gonna do right now. 
because it feels actually pretty harsh on me right now. I wish this was bigger. We do have the we do have the eight by eight. Stay where you are, and I'll swing around. That's pretty good. Oh, this should look this should look really nice now. So we decide to get the eight by eight set up instead of a four by four because if you want softer light, you need to pull the light source back from your diffusion. And so because our four by four was too small, you can see how big the light is spreading out now. We needed something bigger like an eight by eight, so that's why we're using it. Now, technically we could have used one. The nice thing with using two is that I think that it's able to fill in the background a little bit more. If we didn't use two, I think that the background would be a little bit more gray or like kind of like faded to darkness. I think that's pretty good. Is there any way to get slightly more pink in? Yeah, on the cheek. I, I, I just, more dramatic, I think, yeah. 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 I think you'll see how much better it looks with the extra pink in there. I like it. Yeah. Amazing. I kind of want to export this one and do this one on a magazine cover too, just to show you a look, you know? Love that too. I, I want to do like a very like head tilt, but keep your head straight on with me. And then you're, yeah, something like that. It's crazy. That one's sick. There's something that could make it better though. If this hair was also in front, I feel like this hand is blocking the hair it could all go like kind of a wisp in a wispy way. Three, three, two, one. That last one was really good. That one. Mm. That's what we're looking for. Something like that. Mm So switching the light up, um, she's gonna be sitting on the ground. We're gonna do some crouching stuff, some sitting stuff, but we need to move the hair light down because it was like way too high. And it was casting this nasty shadow. You can kind of see it there. This light also has that diffuser thing. We could try that on it. Oh, that's cool. Let me know and I can count you into it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Timber. Okay, I'm going back to the couch. Three, two, one. I think I got it. That's pretty, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Here we go. Three, two, one. Love that. That's sick. I think we got it. Good job. Boom. After running the Molus X100 and even using the new G60 as a hair light, I'm super impressed not only by the size of these lights, but also the output that they can produce. It's cool to see something different in this space that's possible with different engineering. And these are a solid recommendation for me if you need a very small, super compact COB light. This has way more power than those typical small pocket LED lights that you can buy. But as you can see, they did an amazing job and I'm already thinking of other ways that I could use these lights where I need something small and compact. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Stella for modeling today. I think we got some awesome shots and that was the Molus X100, this little guy right here. So thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> this is all fake, but it looks like a real magazine because I know how to use Photoshop. Just don't read this. Boots. Ah, I just got shocked. <laughs> At least you know when you go to prison, you'll have the best looking mugshot. <laughs> All right. Ah, <laughs> getting shot. This is a PG YouTube channel.
down here. <laughs> oh, Canada vibes. Oh, Canada vibes. Lord 4K. Lord Farquad. Right? Ah! Go. go <laughs> he lifted the light up a little bit, so now it won't be. Ah! <laughs>